Hi everyone, Ron Kreider here one more time. This time we're building carts for the Simeon 2.3.4, but they're all pretty similar for all of the Simeon automation systems as you go back even further into the 1.8s and 1.9s. So the, uh, the thing you have to remember is you always build carts and you put it in a folder in the sound hound and the folder should be labeled carts. So you can label anything you want, but the only thing that should be in the carts folder is the actual cart. The audio files that go into that cart can be in any other folder in sound hound, but cannot be in. The audio files cannot and should not be in the carts folder, just the actual cart itself. So let's get started. This is on the Catholic radio station here in Florida. This is the Simeon automation system. It's actually running right now, but I'm going to give you an idea where we are. And uh, this is the, the front screen, and you'll be familiar with that. And then as we move on, we're going to go to the next phase of actually building this cart. Here we go. Let's move on to the next screen. So I'm going to take you to the screen that shows the uh, where these carts live. And so there is SoundHound, and the first thing in SoundHound here is a, fi uh, a file folder called carts. And that's where this cart you're going to build is going to live, but it must be in there. That's the way it needs to be done. Any other way isn't going to be very reliable. It may work, but it won't be reliable. Alrighty, so let's move on to the next phase here. We're going to go to the event builder. We're going to go up here to where it looks like a little roll of toilet paper on the left-hand side. Sorry for the pun there. And this is what a cart looks like. We bring this up. This is blank at the moment. And now I'm going to drag two things into this cart that are 60s. Now, everything in the cart wants to be the same length, by the way. That would be very bad if you put things of different lengths in any cart. And you should label it so. Now you can put many, you can put hundreds of things in a cart. I'm only going to put two in here just to give you an example, and both of these are 60s. Then the next thing I'm going to do is go up here and actually label this cart, and I'll go up to File up in the upper left-hand corner here, and I'm going to bring up Cart and Cart Properties. Here we go. And I'm going to give this cart a name. So when it comes up in the Event Builder, you'll see it. We'll say... Uh, Thanksgiving, I think it is, Thanksgiving 60 cart. And then down here in the middle, you give it a time. It will be 60 seconds or one minute. You'll see that down there. And then you can also set it on the left-hand side at the bottom here to randomize. Or if you don't check randomize, it'll just play them in order. I always generally check it to randomize so that if you have three or four, five, six, seven things in there, they'll all play in a different order. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to save this cart as, and you can see we're going to save it in where it says carts in that file folder, and then we'll give it a name here. And here comes the name. So that will be the name of that cart as it will appear in the event builder. And we'll go over and we'll hit save. Okay. I hit save again. It can't save too many times, but... Now we're going to move on. This was a request from somebody who was having a little issue building carts. Now the first thing I'm going to do in here is uh, go to carts and look for it. Now you may not find it there, so you'd have to go down and refresh the screen. And I think I'll show you how to do that. I'm doing a overtalk here, but um, here we go. We got all these in order. And you'll see the one down here that says the Thanksgiving cart. And that is exactly how you build these carts. Now, the purpose of doing this is so that if, like, if one of your clients has four or five or six different spots and they rotate, then you only have to put that client in the log one time and then the spots will rotate. There's many other reasons why you should use carts. But carts are very, very important in a log. Now, you put the cart in the log, make sure that you, like for example, if you have a bunch of public service announcements, you can put a whole bunch of different random, random, random public service announcements in a cart, and then they'll play. But make sure they're all of the same length. So they're the ones that we put in there. As you can see, that's what we put into that cart. And... Uh, 
it's really quite simple, but it's a very flexible way in order to build these carts. And I use carts frequently, just about everywhere. There you come. I'm taking you back one more time to SoundHound, and there you'll see cart up there at the top. That is the file folder that the carts are all living in. And we're back here to the main screen. And uh, don't know exactly what I was doing here. I'm sorry about that, but we'll just keep on rolling here and see what we did next. Oh, I know what I did. I went over here to uh, bring up the, just so you can see another way to look at it. This is happens to be in the, leave in the F drive. So I clicked on the F drive and then I go down here to carts. This is in what we call the info editor, and there you'll find it in the info editor as well. And all the Simeon systems have the info editor. So so many ways that you can go and double check and make sure that that cart is in there. And if you continue to have any problems, please feel free to give me a call. Text me because I'm hard to reach, 772-913-2209. I'll get back to you pretty quickly. Or you can send me an email, ronkreider at gmail.com. You're going to see it pop up here on the screen in just a second. It's ronkreider at gmail.com. This video had to do with building carts for Simeon. Thanks and have a great day. Keep watching.